Hello and welcome to another video in our quantitative method for business series. In this video, we will look at forecasting methods, time series model, and namely the moving average, weighted moving average, and exponential smoothing. We're going to look at how we're going to set up Excel spreadsheet to give me the answer for all of these three methods. Answer such as the forecasted values, the error analysis, namely the MAD and the CNMI for both three methods. So for this particular example, I have some data, the actual value for the last 12 months, the period here and consider a month, that would be year, week, day, whatever data series you have. And of course, you can include more than 12 plus data. When it comes to moving average, I'm going to look at assuming we're doing the three-month moving average. Since we're doing three-month moving average, that means I have to start the forecasted value on month four over here. If we're doing two-month or four-month moving average, then you have to start either at the third or the fifth month. So the formula that we use is basically the average formula. And I'm going to select for the fourth month the three months prior to that as a past that. And we're going to press enter. Now, just going to drag these and fill up the rest. And you can see that Excel, as we move on, it moves one cell at a time. It takes the next three, which is basically the moving average. I'm going to repeat that procedure just for the last one to show you that for this one here, we're going to take the previous three before that. And the actual forecast, which is what we care about for next period, will be the same formula and the last three months, including month one. So this gives me the forecasted value for the previous nine months, and I have the forecasted value that I want for next period. Now, let's look at the error analysis. Remember that the mean absolute deviation mat is basically the sum of the absolute value of the difference between actual months forecasted the mean squared error, or MSE, it's the square of the difference of the error. And the mean absolute value uh, percent error, or MAPE, is the actual minus forecasted divided by the actual, and we take the average in its percentage. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to come over here and say, let's find the actual minus forecasted. And the same idea, I'm just going to drag all of this all the way here. Now, the absolute error is basically we're going to find the absolute value. So I'm going to use the absolute function and select that. Same idea, drag, and we fill in the rest. The squared error will be basically taking each one of this and squaring. Let's reduce the number of decimals. Let's make it the same as the other one. And let's drag. Now, let's look at the absolute percenter, which is basically, as it says in the formula, the absolute error divided by the actual value. The actual value is basically this one over here. And we're going to try. Now, 
for the absolute error, it's the average of all of these, which is the sum divided by the number. So we're just going to take the average of all of that, and that would be the math 3.741, and we're just going to drag it to the right. This will give me the percent MAPE, MSE, and MAP. We're going to repeat some of these methods in the other one because it's the same thing. The only difference would be the forecasted value. So let's look at the weighted moving average. And here, I'm assuming that. I'm going to take the weights as 1, 2, and 3. Well, the most recent 3, before that 2, and before that 1. And also I'm doing the 4-month, the sorry, 3-month moving average. For this one, we need to use the sum product function. Okay. So we're going to take the sum product of these three comma these three. Now when I drag, I want these to be stay the same, so I'm going to press F4 to make these absolute reference. I'm going to press OK. Now if you look at this, we need to divide by the sum of all weights. So I'm going to add here sum of weights and So when we need to change it, we don't have to change the formula. So I'm going to come over here and say divide by this value over here. And also, I want to make it absolute reference. So when I copy it, it doesn't change. After that, drag, and we have the value. I'm going to keep dragging until I get to then the next value. which is the next period that we're looking for. We're going to repeat the same thing for the error. It's going to be actual minus forecasted. And we're going to drag them. Here, we're going to do the absolute value as we did in the first one. And we're going to just fill it up. And here, we're going to take the square Also, we're going to drag it, and here we're going to take the absolute error divided by the actual. And also, we're going to drag it all the way here, and we're going to use the average function as we did to find all these averages, the same here. And the same for the MAP. Now, if you compare the moving average, which has 3.741 MAT, to this, 3.889, we can tell which method is better. Or if we look at the MAPE, we get the same thing. Now, keep in mind that the MSE sometimes give me different result than MAD and MAPE because I'm squaring the error. And if the error is greater than one, the square would be bigger number, less than one, the error would be less, smaller number. So most of the time, these two agree in terms of the methods. MSE might be a little bit different. Last method is the exponential smoothing methods. So for the exponential smoothing, the first forecasted value, either it's going to be given to us or we take it as the actual value. We need also the smoothing constant, which is alpha. I'm going to just assume I'm going to take it 0 0.4. You can change that later. And the formula is basically 
alpha times the actual value plus one minus alpha also on it times the forecasted value of course the first one will be 12 because it's the same value but once we fill in the rest we will see that we have different values this is the next period and similar to the other methods we're going to find the error but here we're going to start with the second cell because we have forecasted value in the second cell so actual minus forecasted scroll it down we're going to take the absolute value of that as we did the first two methods and we're going to scroll it then we're going to take the square of the error or the squared error and also the flag and finally we're going to take the absolute error divided by the actual and also we're going to drag it and we're going to find the average all of these and we're going to drag over and let's just make this percentage and now we can compare all the methods moving average the math was 3.741 weighted moving average 3.8 exponential smoothing is alpha 0.4 it's 3.459 and we can tell that it's better than the moving average even the mape agrees with that and the MSO. Now here the good thing about it is we can try different alpha just need to change the alpha here and it will give me the answer right away so I don't have to redo the Excel spreadsheet. Thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come and make sure you check the other videos on quantitative method and Excel.